Hey guys, my name is Jose Arvello and I'm a solutions architect at Accelerate Solutions and I'm really excited to give you a first look at SAML Federated Authentication for Zen App and Zen Desktop. Currently the technology is under tech preview, meaning that it is not available to the general public, it is not production ready right now, but I've been playing around with it and it is really cool. So the reason I'm looking at this, and I'm going to use a, a, a real customer example, is that I'm currently working with a customer who would like the solution integrated with their uh, SaaS portal. So they have a portal that they use uh, where users log in uh, one time, they have access to all of their web-based applications, all of their SaaS applications, uh, and they don't have to log in again, right? They click on the icon to the SaaS application uh, and they're in. And so it's a really neat solution, uh, but why don't we take that to the next level? and also integrate Windows applications and Windows desktops, right? So this is the sort of functionality that we can get out of SAML federated authentication. So let me go ahead and talk to you really quick about some of the new components of the solution. So we have a user credential service. Um, this is uh, really kind of critical uh, to the solutions. So if you refer to the black boxes there, there is a, those are the three new services of the solution. We have a logon data provider and storefront. And we also have on the VDA a credential plugin. So these three different pieces uh, work together uh, as part of the authentication process to properly authenticate an end user uh, to Zen app or and Zen desktop. Uh, and, in the and behind the scenes, once an end user goes through the IDP, passes through Netscaler, gets passed on to Storefront, the user credential service actually checks out a smart, a smart card certificate for the end user. So behind the scenes, uh, this is all uh, smart card based authentication uh, without having to leverage a smart card. And so the prep process for this, uh, a good portion of it, has to do with prepping your environment for smart card authentication. So if you see the green boxes, right, we have our IDP. In this particular case, it would be Okta, uh, which would be uh, synced with our Active Directory, right? So an end user is going to go to the logon page on the IDP which then is going to pass through uh, uh, Netscaler gateway to uh, receiver slash source front. Uh, and then from there, uh, all the magic in the background happens with the smart card authentication piece. So let's take a look at it in action. So here I am on my Windows physical desktop and I'm gonna launch Internet Explorer. Then I'm gonna go to the login page of Okta and I'm going to enter in my Active Directory user ID and password. Once I'm authenticated here, I'll be taken to the portal. And in the Okta portal, I only have one icon. It's a Citrix Windows desktop. So I'm going to click there. And you're going to see that I don't have to log in again. Right? My credentials are passed through all the way through the Windows desktop hosted on Windows Server 2012 R2. This makes for a fantastic end user experience. So that's uh, the tech preview for SAML federated authentication.